okay, okay, I get it. You've seen Breezy, you think, I'd love to use that, but I don't have a WordPress website, so I can't use it. Well, you could be wrong. In this video, I'm going to share a little secret that Breezy is keeping up its sleeve on how you can use it free of charge without the need to have WordPress at all. I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. So what do I mean you don't have a WordPress website but you can still use Breezy? Well, the simple fact is you can use the demo. So what do I mean by that? Let's click on try now. That'll load a fully fledged version of Breezy Editor into your browser where we can start using it. So let's let that load up and as you can see we now get the normal editor. So if you're not used to Breezy I'd recommend checking out one of my other videos where I give you an overview on how you can use it. But if you are familiar with it but you'd still like to use it without WordPress then this is going to be for you. Now, this is great if you don't have access to this editor and you want to create great looking landing pages without the need to use and pay for a service to do the same kind of thing or to physically get in there and start designing it yourself. Well, let's take a look at that in action. You can see we've loaded in a predefined layout, which we can easily use as the starting point or we can get rid of all of this if we want. So we can click, come in, delete all these different sections and start off with a completely blank canvas exactly what you'd expect to see if you're using Breezy inside WordPress. So now that we've got our blank canvas, let's just simply start creating the page we want to use. So we'll click to add a new option. You can see we've got light and dark, but we also have saved and global, some additional options in there. Let's keep it simple and come in and we'll choose a dark hero section and we'll come in and we'll choose header. We'll find one we think actually looks good. So I'll go with this one. That'll load everything in for me. I'll add another block in. We'll keep this to light and we'll say we're setting an app, for example, and we'll come in and add another option and we'll say this is going to be testimonials. And we'll just choose a nice looking testimonial block. And finally, we'll just put something at the bottom to close our page down. I'm not really being too picky about what I'm doing here. It's just to give you an example of what we can do. So we'll choose a footer and we'll keep it really nice and simple and add this one in. So we've now created our page we can come in and start editing to our heart's content to make sure this fits exactly what we want. Once we've done that and we've got everything where we want to be, we can simply come down and where we normally have the option to save this, we now have a new option inside this online version, which is save HTML. If I click on that, that will then create a HTML file containing all the image information, all the data we've just created inside our layout. Once it's done that, it'll now download a zip file for us that contains everything inside our page structure. So if I click and open that up, you'll see we've now got a simple setup. We've got index HTML and we've got assets. So if I just take that and just double click on index HTML, that's gonna load everything in and we can take a look at what the page looks like independently of Breezy. So let's just double click on the HTML file and that'll open up a new tab and as you can see everything is in place looking exactly as we expect it to. It's fully responsive so if I shrink this down you can see everything scales as you'd expect to make sure everything looks fantastic. So we, if we wanted to now we could easily create our own customized landing pages, sales pitch pages without the need to use Breezy inside WordPress itself or free of charge. Now what makes this so cool is the fact this isn't some kind of cut down, stripped out version that really just gives you some basics. You can do all the things you'd expect inside the normal Breezy editor. You can even save these blocks inside your session to use again and again and again. So let's just say that I like this header and I've made some changes to it, put my own image in there and so on. Now if I want to save that, I can easily come out to this top right hand corner, click to expand at the additional options for this particular section. Come and click on the little love heart, and once I've done that, that'll save that. Now if I come down and I go to add a new section in, click to add in there, you can see the light and dark are also there, we have saved. If we click on there, there's our saved header section, which I can call back up and use again. Now just to show you what I mean, we've got this session open, I'll come back to the Breezy, breezy homepage, I'll click to create a new Try Now demo. That'll load in all my session data so you can see the page we created is still listed here and if I come back up and click 
and we come in you can see save is all still available and if we scroll down and add a new block in and go to our saved section there's our hero image all set up for us so if i wanted to i can easily pass this between different sessions all really cool stuff and if i want to i can easily come in there and make my changes if i want to change the image just click come in and change the background image delete the one that's already there choose to upload something and find an image on your system i'll just choose some stock image that i've got on my computer and we'll just say we want to use this one, the summer one, and we'll click open. That'll now upload that to Breezy, the online editor, and make that available to us. And then when we save this out, that's going to have that image applied to it. So as you can see, there's our image. We're not restricted to only using images that are part of the Breezy editor. We can load up anything we want and go through and edit it in any way we want. And then save that HTML code out again as many times as you want to use the Breezy editor as a standalone editor, which we can just use completely free of charge. So how cool is that? It's one of those things that I absolutely love the fact you can use this. You have all the power of Breezy without any of the hassle of having to go through of installing a WordPress site on your computer, on your local setup, wherever you need to use it just to create simple pages. Not only that, but you get the beauty and the power of the Breezy Editor. And as this expands, and I hope they keep this feature available because I think it's something that will help sell Breezy later on down the line when they get the pro version out, when more features are added to it. And that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video. Breezy's dirty little secret uncovered. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we add new content to the channel. If you think the Breezy Editor is the best thing since sliced bread, or you absolutely hate it, pop the comments in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation going, see what you love about it, see what you hate about it, and see how you'd like to see this progress in the future. So I've been Paul C, this has been WP Tuts, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. But until next time, take care.